Hi friends, this is Soft Reason. Uh, in this lesson, we will be looking at a composite uh, structure. Okay, this column is a composite column. You can see a a steel stanchion embedded inside the concrete. Okay, so this is what we will be looking at. Just something like uh, something of this kind. Okay, just like this. Okay. Alright, so we will be applying load. This is going to carry a load of 250 kilo newton. Okay, based on the machine is going to be carrying. Okay, alright, so we are going to design this. Okay, uh, based on that. Alright, and also after which we will produce the drawing. We will do the modeling. We will do the analysis and the design as well. Okay, so let's start. So I will go to the new. I will say yes. I will composite structure one okay this at one zero part all right so I will draw my axis okay direction two Alright, so after which I will click on my column, this one, okay? Once I click on it, I will have to go to sections, section manager. Alright, so in this section manager, you can see there are different kind of columns, section, okay? And it is concrete, so I want to change this concrete to composite. So if I click here, you see composite here, okay? Alright, so after which I want to use a circular columns, okay? You can see rectangular and uh, polygons okay so i want to use circular columns okay and so i want to select my universal beam all right i will choose this okay 254 by 254 by 7 okay so i will select it okay after which uh they are giving me a diameter of 434 the uh concrete okay so i want to change it to diameter 500 okay just like this okay after which i click on okay all right then i will have to insert my uh composite uh, columns okay so after which i will click on closed all right so i will now get to the to the 3d you have something like this okay all right so it's like this so the next thing i need to do is to apply the load on it but by then I will have to set my load, load loading combinations. Okay, I will have to set my loading combinations. Uh, my loading combination. I will go to analysis. Okay, on that building analysis. Alright, so click on my parameter, get to my foundation so I can be able to set my uh, soil bearing capacity as it was given 140, okay. So I will click on, okay, click on my loading combination generator, okay, and okay, to generate my combinations, okay. Alright, so I will also edit material, even as I'm going to use C20 slash 25 grade 410, okay, I will open this okay so i want to use a uh, 16 okay y16 all right i want to also select y20 and 25 as well okay all right so i click on okay my links okay i will use y10 for my links okay i will use y10 for my links all right just like this i'll get to my foundations okay in the foundations i will be using y12 okay and 16 okay all right and 20 as well okay all right so after which i click on okay right and then i close this okay so i want to apply the load all right but by then i will click on save so as to save the project
so after saving the project I click on the uh, composite columns and if you check you notice the properties of this column okay so I want to right click now then I add I click on add columns slash one another load okay so once I click on that click on apply I want to apply this load in the FZ directions okay so I will make it negative 2500 okay all right is this acting at the top of the column downward okay so I will click on okay all right so this load is being applied you can see okay so after which what we need to do is we will have to save the project after saving the project we will go to we will go to analysis again go to building analysis okay and we will go to this tab okay we check the structure if uh, the modeling is okay all right start it all right okay the set number of errors the first zero okay so close that and then we want to start analysis we activate this will have the program to design the columns and the steel uh, member check okay so we click on start if you have any question you can't drop your question at the comment sections okay you can drop your questions or suggestion at the comments comment se section okay so i click on okay analysis is successful so let's go to post process to check the behavior of this uh, uh composite uh columns all right so this is the this is the column and this is the load this is how it was is acting okay it is acting right at the top of the uh columns downward so if you click on these uh, animations let's see the behavior of it okay you can see the reactions okay you can see the reactions of this let us increase it so increase the scale so you can see very well yes that is the reactions of this it's trying to push the columns downward okay so you can see the reactions all right so we'll have to close it here okay and we'll also close this point okay so the next thing we need to do is we will have to uh we we'll have to check if the column is actually designed okay so we'll go to this point all right all right so if you notice that this column has not been designed because see look at design is check bad okay so what we need to do now is we are going to go to interactive design click on this interactive design once you click on interactive design you will try to design these columns using this tab okay click on it now once you click on it look at the warning they are giving you the column has been designed but they are giving you warning okay so you click on okay once you click on okay you can see the column has been designed required area is five oh six three point six one millimeter square and then support supplied is five three nine okay based on the table okay so you can see it is eleven y twenty five okay that was used you can see there okay so the column has been designed now if you click on okay see it is it's been designed okay so after which you have to now close this okay you have to now close this and then you will navigate to the plan view okay after which we want to design the foundation and we want to use path foundation okay to carry the load from this column okay so what we need to do is we want to save the project first click on save so after saving the project we will navigate to story zero so as to add our foundations so i will click on the color right click to add my stack my path footings okay you can see the soil pressure of 40 yeah okay this place i want to make it 500 okay which is the floating depth okay so after which i'll do calculate all right so the size is giving us we wanted a square size because it's giving us 4600 by 4600 okay but if you check the punching share 
the punching check, you discover that punch, punching at column face direction to one and two is is failing, meaning the column is punching through the foundations. Okay, you can see here uh, failed. Okay, so for that, because of that, we will have to increase the footing thickness. Okay, so what we need to do is click on okay, we'll go to footing thickness, and then we we'll make a 600. Okay, 600 like this. Then you do calculate. You notice that the punching is still is still not okay. All right. The, fan, the the column the composite column is punching through the this uh, foundation the part footing okay it's punching through it even at the thickness of a uh, 600 mm okay so I will click on okay and then I will have to increase the uh, thickness again to 800 800 just like this then I will do calculate okay punching check is okay you can see here is okay at direction one and two is okay all right in the xs direction is okay but in the y y directions there's a problem it is failing here at distance d from the columns it's failing okay it's collapsing so what we need to do is we will have to go back and increase the thickness to this thickness will make it 900 and then we'll click on calculate it's giving us a a square footing of 4700 by 4700 mm okay and if you check the punching check at direction one is okay direction two is okay in the sx direction is okay all right in the yy direction is okay all right so everything now is okay so we cannot use this uh footing thickness for this structure okay so click on okay and also click on okay yeah Alright, so we will be having something of this kind, okay? Alright, so let us navigate to the 3D and see uh, this structure. Alright, so you will be having something of this kind. So this is how to design a composite uh, columns in these programs, okay? So this has been designed successfully. You can see a steam member, okay? You are concrete, okay? Member, alright? This is a composite columns, alright? So before we produce our drawings okay we we'll have to save the work okay all right so after saving the work mind you the installation is going to this installation is going to look like it's going to look like this just, just like this okay just like this all right so we will have to uh, go to concrete design and then load proto details. Okay, click on it to load it. So the proto detail is loaded. Okay, so we we'll just use auto generate detail. Okay, click on it. I mean, you click on draw. After which you can click anywhere on this board maybe this point click all right you can see this is your reinforcement okay and this is the steel stanchion okay embedded inside of the concrete the 11 by 25 okay this is just like the foundation layout 2700 okay by 2700 square foot in okay and the color sections and elevations all right the foundation so this is how you can design a composite column using this program if you want to export it to octocad kindly just have to click on this point right click and click on the spot it detects it to AutoCAD okay I'll minimize this alright so this brings us to the end of this lesson if you have not subscribe subscribe and stay tuned for more lessons of this kind alright bye for now